I am recording this on the 12th of December, and as I record this, the Erlang Runtime System version 21.2 just shipped. 21.2 features an interesting new feature called persistent term. And persistent term is really nice because it allows you to store any Erlang term on a node in a globally accessible way that is very fast for access. Now, this is really not something you want to update very often. Persistent terms should presumably be set once and in a perfect world never updated or maybe just updated, you know, once in a great while. You know, as you're updating from version 2 to version 3, maybe you need to update something, but otherwise not. The persistent term put takes a key, which is usually an atom, and it's recommended you name species by modules or applications and a value, which can be any Erlang term. So feel free to use whatever you need there and saves it into the persistent storage. You can then retrieve it with persistent term get by the key or get zero will retrieve everything. If you do put on an existing term and it's unchanged, it will simply do nothing. If it is changed, it may trigger some garbage collection throughout the system. So use it sparingly. Unlike ETS, this is really designed for systems where you're not going to update very often. Persistent term info will give you information on persistent terms stored and persistent term erase will let you delete a term that you may have already stored. So I hope that was useful to you. If it was, please like and share this video and if you'd like help getting up to speed on Erlang or Elixir, please give me a shout.